We're wrapping up week two of the Alec Murdoch murder trial in Colleton County today. The former lawyer is accused of killing his wife and youngest son a year and a half ago on the family's hunting property. Now the state is arguing those murders were to cover up for the fact that he was allegedly stealing millions of dollars from his friends, family and clients. Nick Reagan is live from the courthouse this morning and Nick, the state is now honing in on a motive. Yeah, that's right, guys. You hear it all the time in these criminal cases. Means, opportunity, and motive. Earlier last week, the state started its case by using law enforcement to say Alec Murdoch had access to the same type of guns used to kill Maggie and Paul. That is uh, means. Now, earlier this week, they uh, went after the opportunity using cell phone data, saying that uh, Murdoch was with it or was with Maggie and Paul just minutes before they were killed and yesterday they went after motive. Now this was a move that the defense was hoping to avoid altogether. Judge Clifton Newman allowing the state to call witnesses to testify about Murdoch's other alleged crimes, including more than 90 financial crimes, accusing him of stealing from his law firm and his clients with fake accounts and forged checks totaling nearly $9 million. Those witnesses include two staffers from his former law firm who say they confronted Murdoch about missing money the very morning of the double murders. And then they back off given the circumstances. The state arguing the motive for the murders was to distract from the huge amount of financial crimes that were about to be uncovered. Also on the stand, Alex's best friend, Chris Wilson, who also worked with Murdoch as a lawyer and was uh, allegedly implicated by the alleged financial crimes. He got emotional when uh, the state asked him about how he felt regarding the accusations. I was so mad. I mean, I'd loved the guy for so long, and I probably still loved him a little bit, but I was so mad. Now, Wilson says that he had a meeting with Murdoch about the money in which Murdoch attempted, uh, admitted rather, to being addicted to opioids. The state making the case that Murdoch lived a double life and even his closest friends didn't truly, truly know the depths of his financial troubles. Now, interestingly, the jury was not in most of the court yesterday as the judge was still weighing whether or not he's going to allow that financial crime testimony to be admissible in this case. However, if he does, that means that the uh, witnesses yesterday may end up having to testify again, only this time in front of the jury. Court will start again at 930, but the jury won't be back in until about 1130. Guys, back to you. Thank you, Nick. Well, don't miss a minute of our coverage. Tune into Live 5 News Daily and be sure to download the Live 5 News app. Yeah, you can also find updates online on our website at live5news.com. Look under the news section for the Murdoch Cases tab. Our next live update will be on Live 5 News at noon. We'll have live team coverage of the trial from Walterboro, bringing you all the details until a verdict is handed down.